Campbell. There's no secret. There's no shortcut. Everything that is alive is conscious. Be silent. Be still and know God. Until you feel worthy, it ain't going to happen. Rigorous, ruthless, disciplined focus. You have to get to a place where you can work on yourself. If you are looking to live at the tip of the spear when it comes to health optimization, join my private membership group, Fully Optimized Health. Dot com and get the latest and greatest on hormone optimization, peptides, fitness, fat loss, and most importantly, raising your vibration. Again, go over to fullyoptimizedhealth.com and sign up today. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you may be around the world. I am Jay Campbell, and of course, you are watching the Jay Campbell podcast. And I'm very, very excited today to be joined in my virtual StreamYard studio with an amazing guy by the name of Rob. Hopefully I didn't pronounce his last name correctly. Renee. Is that correct? Very good. Yeah. Just like the girls, I always say. <laughs> awesome, man. There you go, man. So he is known as quantum, affectionately known as quantum Rob. And let me give you guys his bio. And by the way, as most of you guys know today, unless you are not at the leading edge of quantum fields and quantum learning and entanglement, and particle physics and all the things that I talk about, you don't come on the show anymore. I'm not talking about bro science and fitness and fat loss. I only have guys like Rob. So actually, his back, by, uh, background or bio is that you know, after a nearly fatal accident that destroyed dreams of being a professional runner, he struggled with addiction, which I'm sure he's going to talk about here today. And that journey led him to study frequencies and quantum energy. And he has an awesome story, and that's why he's on here today. But, uh, Rob, before we get into our talking points, which are amazing, you know, I've been asking the guests a lot, especially this year. And for the record, today is April 6th, 2023rd. Wow, it's amazing, bro. We're already in April yeah, of 2023. Just time, time is moving at the speed of the quantum. It goes fast. Yes, it sir. does go fast, and it's getting faster. But, like, just kind of your thoughts right now. Because again, you know, perspective is everything. You know, time isn't even real. Only in this dimension do we have points of linear, exp uh, you know, expression. But um, are you selling humanity right now, or are you a buyer? And and what do I mean? And what I mean by that is, is humanity is humanity doomed in this current third dimensional uh, existence, or is there a golden age slash new earth around the corner? Yeah, that's a that's a that's a great great question. I don't think anybody's ever asked asked me that question. But uh, you know, I I'm a man of faith in in uh, in God, right? So sure. I believe God has a plan, and uh, the, this uh, we're just coming upon what what many people call the Great Awakening, right? and uh, the Great Awakening I think is is uh, upon us that, that it's just starting. Uh, and many people who've been like myself just a few years ago, so not you know I'm I'm like you, uh, the people that are listening to this that are still in the matrix uh, there, there is a matrix that you're in that you just don't understand that you the information that you receive um has been controlled and uh, fed to you for you know decades more more than likely and uh, it's just uh it's once you get out of that matrix you understand that oh my gosh you, that there's a lot of things that you do didn't know that you should know and the information that has been hidden from you that shouldn't be hidden and i think the you know my and my faithful opinion god has a plan and he is waking up humanity and and we're all going to see this but you know in that plan there is a there is a nefarious uh counterpart to our world and i think that you know the, the devil is is uh, dangerous and and really really good at what he does and a lot of people have been deceived for for a very very long period of time so then i'm very optimistic uh, i think god has a plan for me specifically i think he has a plan for you jay and then of course a plan for the person listening to this he he has a plan for you and so uh, get that relationship with with him and then have him guide you and, and life is going to be fine um, yeah. yeah, I mean, good. I, I don't mean to cut you off, but uh, no. yeah, I, I mean, I'm in mostly in, in most agreement. I mean, I, I want to go a little bit deeper with you, though. Sounds um, good. <laughs> because obviously, I you know, when I talk to people that are you know familiar with the realms of the quantum, I can have that discussion. And just so you know, for the record, most of the people on this uh, in this audience are very advanced. So awesome. awesome. We are all in the matrix, but they know they're in the matrix versus the opposite, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're taking you look the at red some pill. People and they're like the blue pill and the red pill. Bro. Yeah. What what does that mean? But uh, no, but to go deeper to what you said, you know, you said you talked about the devil, and nobody knows what the devil is, right? The devil is a 
you know, I call it the parasitic energy, right? I guess because I'm like you, I like to talk about energy and fields and stuff like that. But like, yeah. depending on what culture you come from or what ancient text you read, the devil is an archetype of evil, right? Like right. we know for a fact that in the biblical texts, you know, there was Lucifer and then there were the angels of light. There were the fallen angels. You know, if you read the Sumerian or the Babylonian or the Akkadian, and I'm obviously a buff of all of this stuff, right. you know, it's the Anunnaki and it's the negative Anunnaki, right? And then if you read like the Greek or the Romans, you have the pantheon of gods, right? So, I mean, the reality is, is that all of this is the same thing depending on the timeline and the culture, Right. And it's all just kind of been wo woven in, you know, intricately through various ancient texts and then interpreted differently. And then again, as you know, um, we're, we're talking about epics of time where people were di – they didn't even have that te technology. They didn't even – they couldn't describe if, – if a ship came down, they couldn't describe what it was. You know, like you think of like uh, Ezekiel, right? Like Ezekiel's wheel, the book, the book of Ezekiel's wheel. And Ezekiel supposedly traveled – with the fallen angels or, you know, the guys that came down or whatever. But I mean, if you liken it to today, people would be like, oh, he was abducted and put on a space. Right, right, right. So, I mean, like we have various layers of knowing or awareness that has been given to us again through the ancient texts. And yes, the ancient texts have even been altered. We know that the King John Bible has been altered. We know that the New Testament has been altered. But as I always tell people, everything has spiritual foundational principles that are real right and it takes a true heart or a pure heart is probably the better term to discern and as you and i were talking off air before we got into this bro technology has enslaved so many people now right like i don't even know where my phone is here it is like i always say like these things for people under the age of 25 own their consciousness. Right. There are six second sound bites, right? From social media, which is TikTok and Snapchat for the young people. And again, I have two daughters. I'm sure you have children. Maybe you yeah. don't, but if we have children, we all know about this. You know, we can say like, oh, well, we can limit their use, but that's not real, right? Because then if you limit their use and you take it away, then they can't interact. They can't be educated because the schools require it. So essentially what's happened now is that people have been dumbed down to six second sound bites. Right. No one is reading ancient texts, Rob. Yeah. No one is reading right. the Bible, Rob. That's right. No one is reading anything. I, you know, right. you're around my age, I would assume. I mean, I'm 52. I assume you're Gen Xer, yeah. right? I'm 55. So, yeah. 55. Exactly. So, we're both Gen Xers. So, we were the last generation that used a Dewey Decimal System and a card catalog at the library. Right. <laughs> right. I know you remember that. Yeah. But our kids, Literally, think about this for a second. Our kids say, hey, Siri. I know. <laughs> hey, Google. It, by the way, it just said hello. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And That's I have cool. it turned off, by the way. I don't use it, but they it doesn't matter, right? Uh, uh, Apple is now hacking into our OSs, and they just install whatever they want. It doesn't. We don't even have consent, right. and that's scary in and of itself. But the True. bottom line is, is that young people today don't have to do any kind of research. They right. don't have to be curious. They don't have to be inquisitive. They literally ask the screen the question and then the screen answers back. And Rob, this is the scariest part and I want your take on this. We don't know, well, you and I know, but the young people don't know if what the screen is telling them is even real. Right, right. That's the that's the, literally the biggest problem, right? Is is uh, you know the the and they the you know the the information has been controlled for such a long period of time, and they've just done a masterful job of it, right? There's literally science you, behind it. Don't hate the player, hate the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like you you have to understand that they're, these people are very, very smart, and they, they know how human psychology works and how human education works. Totally do. Understanding. And so when they control information, they, they don't just control – one news station and one newscaster and what that one person says, they control all media. Everything. Yeah, they control all news stations. They control all entertainment. They control all music. They control all movies. They control, you know, every news outlet. They control information from, from A to Z. Yes. So you hear it three or four different times in a different way, you assume it's true. That's right. right? So yeah. the death, the the asking Siri is just one other source of information, and that's going to confirm the other four times you've heard it. So then <laughs> you 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 think it's true, 
right? Even though in reality it uh, is probably not, right? Or maybe that they're just, uh, you know, they're tainting the information and right. they it's, want it's, you it's, to understand it. It's some truth with highly strategic error. Yeah, right. Embedded in the code. And, and yeah. look, you know, the first point that you have, we'll just swing right into it, is quantum energy and, and frequencies. But look, yeah. This is a matrix. You've already said it a couple of times. We have all these, you know, theoretical physicists and of course quantum physicists who have proven that our reality is a simulation. And look, I always say this, you know, I've done a lot of research on this myself. You know, I've read all the great works of Walter Wright, Walter Wright. I can't even pronounce Walter White and you know his book The Theory of Light and The Secret of Light and all these different things and the truth is is that God, source, creation force, however you look at that, literally created a simulated reality in order for each of us as individuals with uh, intention and will, free will and intention, to make our reality through our words, thoughts, and actions, right? So if it wasn't a simulation, then no one could create a reality. And that's the gift that we all have as individuals, as free will, free souled individuals is to create our reality. Because as you know, dude, you had addiction and look at you now, right? Right. Like I attempted to kill myself when I was 41 years old because of things that at that time I was saying, you know, happened to me and I was a victim. But like everything that happens to us is an opportunity for evolution and growth. Yeah. And it's a, it's 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 an opportunity for us to help other people, right. To get, to get them out of, out of where they are and help them understand that they can, they can, they can make a change. They can get out of AKA the matrix, whatever you want to call it, but they, they can, they can help themselves in this, uh, this, the free will that you say is, is real, right. You literally can change just with your mind, you can change your whole outcome of life, well, even physically, by doing the right things. And uh, it's just amazing. Of course, you know, you end up having to do the right things. You have to, you know, you do have to exercise, right? You do have to eat the right things. You have to do, you have to act. But at the same point, it's like your mind can tell tell your body what to do right and it's uh that i think that's an important aspect that people need to to you know really grasp is that got the you know god gave you this amazing ability and body to to think and free will but boy you can really if you do it right and use it correctly you can do amazing things and uh, that's what i want to help people with is like hey you can overcome almost anything in this world if you do it with a, a positive mental attitude and you start thinking right and acting right and uh, things are going to change for you. So that's Beautiful. what the more research I did on uh, quantum energy and, and, and this whole, you know, information is just amazing, right? I, I had no idea when I was, you know, I, I grew up just as a typical American, you know, I said when I grew up, I was like in athletics, I went to school and my, my parents were amazing. They were just super supportive of anything I did. And I, uh, but I was told that, Hey, you're, you're one, you're going to graduate from high school and you're going to get, go to college and you're going right. to get a degree. And then after you go to college and get a degree, you're going to get a good job. And then you're going to you're gonna get promoted. Yeah. You're going to, you're going to stay there and you're going to work hard and then you're going to get promoted and you're going to save a some pension. money and then eventually you retire. And then, and then, then the you, pension you, know, you hang out for a few years and then you die. You know, <laughs> are you currently suffering from a testosterone deficiency? Are you already using therapeutic testosterone? If you are, go to tottdecoded.com forward slash 10 dash questions and find out the top 10 questions you need to be asking your doctor about therapeutic testosterone. These are critical questions to ask your doctor. If they can't answer them, you need to find another doctor. Dude, same thing, man. My parents, your parents, I'm sure it was the same thing. I want to go back to something you just said, though, because you nailed it. Um, well, let me first ask you, and this is an opinion question because I love asking this question, but who is they, the, you know, the dark side? Like in your mind, are they humans or are they, you know, interdimensional, fallen angel type behind the veil? I mean, it's a, it's an opinion. Yeah, so I'm, I'm a biblical guy, right? So sure. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to tell you from, the, from what, the, you know, what I know of the, of the Bible, right? I yeah. think there is an evil, evil side to this universe, and, yep. and uh, the, the, they um, are, are very nefarious, and the, 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 they have been, been duped uh, by, the, the, you know, by the evil forces, and, and a lot of people don't have any clue that they, they have no clue, bro. Have been well, think way, about right? all the people now that have been, uh, how do I say this, uh, trust the science. Right. The God right. doesn't exist. 
Yeah. The right. number it, it, two book in the entire world right now is Richard Dawkins' The God Delusion. Imagine how whack that you have to be to yeah. think that God does not exist. I mean, that's yeah. insane. You have no connection to your higher self. Your heart is blocked if you think that. And I would argue, and you probably agree with me, those people are actually working for, for satanic energy. Oh, yeah. They, they don't want you to have that connection because they know that once you have that connection, they can't overcome you. They literally can't. I mean, you, you literally have the power to 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 block that that evil force. And man, so they they don't they don't want to have anybody to have a clue that they they have that power. Right. So God has given us that power once you are connected with him that to to dispel those evil, evil forces. And it's, but imagine, it's like, dude, that they, there's that many people in the world that disillusioned right now. Yeah, that book yeah. is the number two book in the world. That is crazy. Yeah, it's it's really sad. And then you get the people like you, you all know Nahari, whatever the hell his name is. Sorry. Oh, my crazy. God, dude, that guy should be just shot. Somebody yeah. should just scope that dude from the upper deck. He is. That's he what? is uh, evil personified. Right. Say, I mean, that, yeah, that's a that's a fallen angel in a body. For sure. Dude, you know, it's crazy about that guy. It's so funny you brought that up because, I mean, I, that's a whole podcast. <laughs> yeah, that's true. When he wrote that first book, Homo Do or whatever it was, Deuce or whatever, you know, before he became the Satanist. Right. He actually had some really good logical information about right. humanity and how we've evolved and how yeah. there were other forces. So he was actually kind of telling you and, – and, and this is interesting, Rob, but like – when you get to the level of awareness that guys like you and I have of like, you know, the forces of good and evil, it's possible that he was taken over. Yeah, right. I mean, I, I don't I don't discount that at, at all. I mean, I li literally uh, think that he he might have not had any clue that he was doing it. Either, That's exactly right. right. And, That's and, exactly uh, right. Oh, I would argue that that is what's happening. That's yeah. how they own all of the politicians. They literally yeah. take over their minds. They either steal their consciousness or their soul or both. Yeah, they have or they, they're do. just – they're brilliant, right? They trick right. people into doing <laughs> things that they would never do, right? And then and then guess what? You know, they have they have you know record of them doing said thing that you would never want anybody to ever know that you did. You know, the whole honeypot thing is a is real, right? They dude, literally Bob, you're so amazing, yeah. dude. So I, I I had a mentor of mine. I don't know if you know this guy, you probably don't, but his name was Gerald Clark and he wrote he was a he was a, in the in the Matrix. He was a um, he had fifty or thirty seven patents on integrated systems and circuits. He was literally the guy wow. who brought a high definition TV to the world in Monday Night Football back in nineteen eighty four nice. or something like that. And then after he got blown out of academia and you know all of his technology companies, he became a writer. He wrote books on the Anunnaki. Anyway, he was a powerful mentor of mine. He died of bone cancer living in Mexico himself in 2020. Oh, he literally it. used to say to me what you said. I wanted to give his background because I love Gerald. Shout out to Gerald Rip, my brother. He said to me, Jay, you're dealing with intellects that are 10 to 15 times your IQ. <laughs> <laughs> right right yeah, that's yep. true it's like you yeah. said they're so brilliant and then right. i think of the i think of the movie where it was and they were that's when they were making fun of us too because they always do through hollywood as you said earlier in the oh show that's their, that's their golden cipher but yeah robert de niro and nick nolte remember that movie where nick nolte was the attorney and robert de niro was the psychopath and he goes yeah. i can out philosophize you <laughs> yeah yeah, that's I what mean, the fallen angels are, bro. Right. I mean, they yeah, they're really, really smart. They they know how they know how our psyche works, and so they they work that work us against each other, do, man. right? They and do, man. Uh, that's why I think we're upon the great awakening. I think that people are yeah. finally through this uh, all the stuff that's happened the last three or four years. It's you see you started to see the the evil in the light. Right. So it's, it's like it's sh the light is shining on evil like never before. Yeah. It's always yeah. been hidden in the dark. And, and uh, it, that's why it's so they're so good at it because they, you know, no one knew they were there. Now it's like, oh, my gosh, you know, you, you see the evil in real life. It's like, oh, my gosh, this whole, you know, COVID narrative and everything that happened with that and people, you know, getting, getting the, 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 the you know, in injections. You know what? Right? Yeah. right you know it's just amazing how how when people realize that whole system will happen it's like oh my gosh right this is bad and oh my gosh these people have been tricking us or you know it's just it just starts with, there's so many different things you know i think that's just one of the things that wakes people up but i'm i'm excited because 
lots of different things are waking people up, but it's totally different for different people, right? And it, it took me, I think, maybe the Mockingbird Media. My, my brother is a, a podcaster, and he, he was awakened um, a number of years before me, and I thought he was crazy, right? And, yeah, uh, of course. Yeah. You know, then you, you start doing your own research, and that's what I, I want. Just my, my advice to anybody listening, just don't believe anything that I say or anything Jay says. Go research it yourself, right? right? But take right. away all sources of information and go, go with your own intellect. Go research a topic. You know, my, one of my first topics was the Mockingbird Media, right? It's like, okay, what the heck is Mockingbird Media? And then you go through it and you say, oh my gosh, the CIA wow. did this and yeah. they, they actually control the information and oh my gosh, then you look at all the psychological profiles and how you take over a nation, you know, and uh, it's like, oh my gosh, these people are super duper smart and, uh, you know, they've, they've been doing this for decades and, and the United they, States has been infiltrated, right? They, so, they, they, not only do they, you said it already in the beginning of the show. But not only did they they control everything. So last night I went to dinner with my chiropractor down here in, in uh, Playa del Carmen. We've been seeing him for five months, and we've become friends. And we finally went and spent some personal time together. My wife and I, nice. one of our friends, and him. He met us for dinner, and we started talking about Hollywood, and we started talking about the uh, rock and roll industry. And honestly, you probably might know, you pro- you're pretty tuned on, switched on. You probably know this, but there is a show. My chiropractor is one of us, but he didn't know about this. But there's a show on YouTube that you can look up right now. That's called We Sold Our Soul to Rock and Roll. Mm. And it's it's free. And it's like the drummer and one of the guitarists of all these like famous uh, heavy metal rock and roll bands from the 80s and 90s. And they right. literally are on there telling you that they really did make a pact with Satan to have success and fame and money. And in the show, I mean, again, all of you guys can fact check me right now. Go on and look this up. It's right there. It's publicly available. They want you to see it. It's got like 25 million views. But in the show, they say that Hollywood and the producers, it's always the producers, right? It's always the guys behind the scene. Right. The people you don't see. Yeah. The attorneys working for the army of Satan or the, the armies of evil, the dominions and the thrones. But the reality is, is that they say – and it's crazy to listen to them, but they were like, we were on LSD and angel dust <laughs> and all this other stuff that, you know, again, and as you said already, the CIA, mocking Bermuda, the CIA is involved in everything. Right. It's all from since the 40s and the 50s after World War II. Uh, they've been involved in a mind control experiment, you know, Project Mockenberg, MK Ultra, and then yeah. all the things that we don't know about. But they've been involved in everything. But they were literally saying and they say it in the in the in their interview. It, you know, it's like sixty eight or seventy two minutes or something like that. But they say, look, not only were we under the influence of these drugs and we had sold our souls Satan, but the drugs made us tell stories about us being under mind control and under the influence of Satan. And we're literally telling you what's going on in the words of the songs. But you are so entrained. Right. And program from listening to the sync, I'm sorry, the tempo and the, uh, what do you call it? The uh, frequency of yeah, the music the, yeah. that you don't even know that the words are like, we're telling you what's happening. And dude, so this is what's so crazy. And so many people like our age reject this. But if you go back and you listen to the songs of Led Zeppelin, yeah. you listen to the songs of Pink Floyd, you listen to all the ACDC songs, you listen to all these songs, bro. They're telling you in the lyrics, right? What's going on? Yeah, and the movies are exactly the same way. So I mean, what you're saying is so real. It, it is so real. And then the the movies are the exact. You go look at some of the movies, and they're just projecting. You're literally what's, under what's mind happening. control when you go into a theater, bro. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, it, it, that's the only word I can say because it's, it's just literally like, insane. It's not crazy. I mean, you have to keep your children out of Hollywood yeah. if you want their minds to not be programmed. And I know that you and I and our parents, they did the best they could, but they didn't know any of this shit. Well, yeah, they still they, don't know any they, of this stuff for the no, most part. No, they don't. No, they had no no clue. Right, <laughs> and, uh, but that's okay. I mean, it's just like I understand why, and I, I don't I, I don't get mad at my friends and family who no. who think yeah. I'm crazy either because I understand. Right, yeah, exactly. They, they're controlled by forces that they don't understand and then they don't even know exist yeah exactly yeah and they, they won't ever think it exists until they do their own until they wake up like you and i wake right. up everyone they, they need up. that one they need that one event that says okay this seems really strange to me i'm gonna go re- research this for myself and i'm not gonna listen to anybody i'm gonna go 
dig into it. I'm going to go look at 10 different sources and five are going to say this and five are going to say this, but what do you believe? Right. And then That's right. You know, That's my right. recommendation is to ha have that conversation with God and develop right. that personal relationship with him. That's the key. That he's going to lead you with to the right information. So that, that's uh, that's my well, recommendation. Well, so 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 that gives us this swings us into both talking points of alternative health and big pharma. Yeah, that's one of the big awakenings, right? So if you've been sick or you were again one of those people, like everybody was at some point, because our parents trained us this way. Uh, my doctor said, right? right. Like when, when I talk to people nowadays and they say that to me, I'm like, you know, I'm probably not the right guy for you because I'm going to tell you your doctor doesn't know his ass from a hole in the ground, right? right. Like that's like 95% right. of them because yeah. as you know, they're rule following, order taking, big pharma, drug pushing agents. That's what right. they are. They're not creative thinkers. The system under Obama, who was one of the greatest demonic forces maybe the world's ever seen, True. you know, changed uh, the, it changed the, the doctor patient relationship. It became well, yeah. an insurance practice, right? And do you understand, the, Jay, just, just real quick, the, the beginnings of that happened early in the 1900s with the I Rockefellers. Know. I know. Right? It's all Rockefeller medicine. They, they, right. they took yeah. over the medical you know, totally. industry. Yeah. It's just, yeah. And I, I that was one of the things that I started doing research on. So I'm like, okay, I, I'm starting to mm -hmm. learn about these frequencies, and this is really understand. But gosh, I love my doctor, right? And doctor's always been the revered person, right? You, you, you trust the science and okay you trust your doctor everything you just said damn that's it you you're so right that's exactly what we've been trained for many many and the doctors are great you know so don't get me wrong doctors and nurses and people in the medical field are awesome people they just have been stuck in sucked exactly into this they don't know the difference either bro that they don't but the good ones to your points to, to get back to your talking points yeah you, you rabbit hold me so i do want to say something um <laughs> yes i mean the rockefellers outlawed all quantum healing. They, they had yeah. quantum all healing. All natural. Right? I mean, even minerals, yeah. right? You can't. You can't right. even take you know standard, right. Right. All, you know, alternative. What's all turned exactly. alternative medicine is just stupid. It's just what God gave us minerals exactly. on this earth to help us. <laughs> well, like my like my good friend says when they when you get down to brass tacks about nutrition, there, there's one rule: if God didn't make it, you probably shouldn't eat it. <laughs> right. I mean, it's no, so I, true. It's, yeah, it's like it is basic. True. Yeah. awareness but again people are so convoluted um but going back to rockefellers i mean dude i mean i i mean i mean again i don't want to rabbit hole too much but like in 1914 that's when they created the well obviously a lot of things happened right the federal reserve was created creature from jekyll island but that was also when they created the first vaccines right. and then they started giving them to our military by the way, at Fort Detrick, everything is made at Fort Detrick. Isn't that hilarious? That's where COVID <laughs> came from. That's where all the swine flus are. I mean, it's just nuts. But from there, and this is a true story, and no one knows this because, again, it's been engineered out. But, dude, they started giving the dra and, and, uh, drafted men, not enlisted men, remember, because it was always your property of the U.S. government. Right. Before World War One, they started vaccinating them. And then those people over the next six years, this is all like provable. This You guys can fact check me. They went home to their families and the Spanish flu hit the world in 1918 and took out 30% of the global population. Now think about this. That was what was estimated by 2021. Rob, fast forward 100 years. I'm sorry, 1921. Fast forward 100 years and what happened? They did it again. Right. They did the same thing 100 years later by infecting the world with a fake virus to give them the real killer, the gene therapy. Right. So how many people are they going to kill ultimately from that? Well, yeah, that's, I mean, you know, the, they, like we talked about, they're, they ha they have an agenda to, to depopulize the, you know, 100 the, the, years the, in the advance, earth. bro. The fourth right. turning is them literally depopulating the earth every yeah. 100 years. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it's because just, I think you're right. You know what you were saying? I, and, I mean, we can't prove this, but they're trapped here. They don't want us to be the dominant or, or they want less of us, right? Because right. we're like, we're, we're a uh, goyim to them. It's insane, dude. Yeah. yeah. Like, but I mean, when I was looking at that with the Rockefeller stuff, it just like, it was like a light bulb moment. It was like, well, holy shit. Now, I 100 yeah. years later. And nobody even knows in medicine right. that the Spanish flu was traced to the origin of the vaccine, but the U.S. military gave to the people. They, they know it started in the USA and spread around the entire world. Right. 
Right. But yeah, if it, they'll, they'll never, they'll, they'll bury the, the information that oh, you, yeah, know, you can't that, find it on Google, but it's out right. there. There are books that write about this stuff. But I mean, then you, if you think about like, you know, the bubonic plague and, you know, all of these times and epics and ages, bro, it's always just been them getting rid of us. Right. And, yeah, and, I mean, and that's it, kind it, of where we are now. It's, fr- it's frustrating when you see, when you see that. Yeah. And, uh, and when, the more you research and find it, you know, it's like it, the, the information is getting harder to find, right. Cause they're getting really good at they erase everything. Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, dude, yeah. the Mandela effect is now very real. Right. I, I mean, I can give you like 50 things that I personally have come up with in just the last six to eight months. I'll, I'll tell you one you'll laugh is, uh, you remember, I know, you know, cause you're my age, but uh, remember Ed McMahon, the publisher's clearing house sweepstakes where he would oh, show yeah. up at the house. And I always wanted it. to win that thing. <laughs> well, it's gone. It doesn't exist. It does not exist. They erased it. It's gone. It doesn't even exist. Nobody really? knows what you're talking if you about. If you go look for it, you can't find it. If you Google it right now, it's gone. Completely wow. gone. So, but here's the, re- so this is, and again, you're the quantum energy guy, so we can talk about this. They are hacking the timeline. So they are going back with whatever technologies they have, which are clear. I mean, we know there's time machines or there's time, time, time editing technology, and they're changing things. And so when they do, things go away. So that's what the Mandela effect is. I mean, it's very obvious. I mean, I could give you a, literally another 40 or 50 things. I don't want to talk about it on your podcast, but right, like, right. It's, it's happening because they are editing the timeline. And if you start understanding like, well, why would they want to edit the timeline, Jay? It's because they're trying to alter what is eventually going to happen, which I'm like you, there's going to be a golden age. There's yeah. going to be a new earth. Right. All the evil is going away and they're attempting to make it not that case. They're probably right. attempting to blow the planet up, dude. That's why they have CERN. Right. They're, they're trying, they're trying to, yeah, exactly. They're trying to change what, what eventually they know is, uh, you know, they've read the book as well, right? They know, they know, <laughs> they, they know, they know the end just like we do. So they're trying to do anything they can to, to not let that happen. But, uh, you know, that's the only, not the only, but that's one of the great things about understanding the Bible is that there, you know, we, we know the story, right? We know what happens. And in the end, the good, good does prevail. So um, I think that's what we have to do. A lot of times in this world, you can get really anxious about all these negative things that are happening and what's going on. It's right like, now you, with the financial system, yeah. people are freaked out. The last yeah. three days, there's been more people taking money out of United States and Canadian banks than any time in history combined. That's right. how crazy things yeah. are. Right now. Yeah. And, it, and it's, you know, it's understandable because people are freaked out about what, you know, the things that, that are, are happening and it's, they're, they've built a house of cards and the house of cards are, are, are starting to, to crumble. Right. And uh, it's uh people people see it which is i think a really good thing but i just want people to understand that you can you can with your own mind and mentality you can get through this right and, and just have, have a have a what they call a positive mental attitude right and that really is important because you can you can get through this with high anxiety and you can think that the world's going to fall apart and you can just start going down and down and down and down and that's that's not the right way to do it. It's like, okay, you, you have to, you know, think about this and then just say, okay, I'm, I'm not going to focus on all the negative. I'm going to focus on the good, right? The good to me is that, that people are awakening and the, the information is that it's been hidden from us for decades is, is there and available to you. The, the way to get healthy is, is real, right? You go back and you go to the God given nutrition that get, that God gave us. And there's things like frequencies that interact with things. That's where, you know, I create, Created the company QE Strong with this frequencies for, to help interact with your body for health solutions. Like, so we have this pain product that's literally, literally cool. It's just these little skin patches that we embed frequencies on these patches for like pain relief is our, our best selling one because it's, you know, a lot of people have pain for, for mm-hmm. nefar- you know, different reasons, right? But a lot of it is just because of our health and the things that we eat and we're overweight and other things. But this skin patch you just put on your body and it has no medicine in it. It's just a frequency. And that fre- frequency connects to the energy system in your body to help you relieve pain. So it's amazing because it doesn't use bad, you know, you don't have to be on pharmaceutical medicine to, to help you. 
And uh, that, that, as I started learning, I'm like, how can we help people, right? Okay, we can use these frequencies. We can help people with their health. And then, then, then it's just, okay, you start there. And then, then you start working on their physical body, right? Start looking at like the things that you help people with, right? And, and, and just then about nutrition, right? And the things that the chiropractors do. Chiropractors are great because chiropractors aren't really in the, the matrix from a medical perspective. Yeah, they're not. You know, no, and so they, they go back and do holistic medicine and holistic medicine has been just literally thrown under the rug. And and uh, it's just it's sad. We need to bring get people back to that and have this positive attitude. And, and you literally can change your whole makeup and outcome with that positive mind connection. Uh, you know, and it, you can change your whole being. By doing yeah. That, so. I mean, I mean, a hundred percent. Are you using therapeutic peptides? Are you a new user? Maybe an advanced user? Maybe you're considering starting peptides. Highly recommend going to the link right below the peptidescourse.com forward slash 10 dash mistakes and download my PDF and learn what not to do before starting therapeutic peptides. Well, so, I mean, you, you, your last couple of talking points, you know, we'll, we'll weave in your company here at the end, but uh, our faith and obviously just essentially natural healing and medicine. I mean, you know, I'm a huge believer that, you know, everything, the most, you know, again, you asked this question, it's a, qu a trivia question. What's the most powerful drug known to man? And if you ask a hundred doctors, one will get it right. And the answer is food, right? Mm -hmm. And right. no one says that, but nutrition, what we put into our bodies is what structurally allows us to have, you know, quote unquote, you know, holistic health, uh, health from a standpoint of like the actual functional strength to live, you know, longer and stronger to bend over and pick up your grandkids in your 60s, 70s, and 80s. And right. it's crazy how many people in America, let's just use America, but obviously it's the West that are so disconnected from God right. source frequency because Bob, they're obese. Right. Because they literally have, you know, I, I, I like to talk about this because I'm, you know, obviously a dork when it comes to nutrition, but like I, 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 I and a lot of people don't want to hear this because so many people are obese and they just tune out, but like you cannot be connected to source frequency when you are in pain and anguish 24 right. seven. And when you're morbidly obese, you have cytokine storms flying through your body at all times. You can't even think. You can't function. You're always in stress and right. you said anxiety or whatever it is. You don't yeah. sleep well. You know, your digestion sucks. I mean, everything is bad. Yeah, so it's yeah. like that's the number one way that the dark side has contaminated the gene pool because people are, again, so disconnected. Again, why yeah. does Richard Dawkins have so many people buying his book? Because they're so broken. Right. They have no connection to God. They have no connection to the source frequency. You know, they are literally looking for solutions. And, you know, when they don't have the connection to God, anything else is available to them. Yeah. Yeah. No, I 100 percent agree. Right. Like the, so the people that are in that situation, which is millions and millions of people, you know, they, they can start just by literally working on the, the their food intake. And I, I was awakened to that. I was an athlete, you know, runner, like a, you mentioned in my bio. And man, I, my whole goal in life was to be a professional runner. And one of the reasons why I was really good early on is I, I read this book called Eat to Win. Yep. And it was it was because I understood like early on that it, the, my performance was based upon what I actually fed myself, right? <laughs> yep. And people don't get that nowadays, right? I was talking to Robert Haas, right? Right. That book? Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that book. It was an ama yeah. amazing book, and it transformed yep. my whole athletic career was – was that and uh you know and then I, of course i got into the matrix i got hit by a truck and almost died and and i started doing what i was supposed to do right i was getting that's exactly getting, right getting my it usually job. takes it usually takes a near-death experience a suicide attempt or getting run over or beat to hell and then all of a sudden it's like the light bulb right, comes on right right it's just uh it's just nuts so yeah i mean i i'm excited now that i you know i'm in a p position to just uh, I can do something about it, right? The more the the more I can talk about it, then doing this conversation is fantastic, and that's my whole goal is to get out and get this information out to people. The more we can spread it wide, they can't hide everything, and uh, there's ways that we, you know, with technology, we can get it out there, and uh, people can find it, and people can understand it. So uh, I'm excited to get just this all natural health. 
um, you know, story out to people. Yeah, and I think I'd love what you're doing, Jay. It's just, you know, the more that we can help uh, educate people, the better, right? So let, let me, uh, I'm going to share your uh, screen, share the screen real quick here for a second and look at your website. Um, but if you want, you know, a couple minutes here, maybe just like elevator pitch for somebody who's obviously not familiar with your products or your services uh, and is, you know, suffering in any ca capacity, you know, what would you tell them about, you know, coming onto your site? Yeah, well, this, uh, what we did is that, so quantum energy is, is really amazing, right? We, what we do is we embed the frequencies the healthy frequencies onto these skin patches, like I mentioned. So these little skin patches have a healthy frequency embedded into them. And then energy, our body is made up of energy. And that's what I didn't understand, right? Yeah. And when people do start to understand that, it's like, okay, and it interacts with frequencies. Yep. So, and it interacts positively or negatively to frequencies. There's good frequencies and there's bad frequencies. Like you were mentioning with the rock music, right? Where they're, they're, it's usually recorded in the 432, which is just so bad. The, you know, the, the, the bad frequency, right? And then you put the, the beautiful frequency and it just, it's amazing. So anyway, yep. we, we take this positive frequencies and positive intentions. Have you ever done any research on uh, Dr. Emoto? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah it, you know, so it's just amazing to see how your thoughts and intentions in, in prayer, that's one I like the best, right, because of my, of my, my faith, uh, it can actually fit, have a physical impact on external things. So anyway, we, yep. we package that all up onto a skin patch and, and help people with common medical issues. So we help with allergies, we help with pain, we help with a lot of different conditions that people have, and it, it's, there's no medicine. So that's a great thing. You can get off a big pharma drugs by using an all natural health solution. And then we have uh, supplements that go along with it that are obviously you know, healthy, all natural supplements that, that go along with it. Cause we want people to just start getting healthy. And then, you know, the things that I wanna do in the future, just to help people like you understand that it starts from the source. It starts with what you eat, right? And, and then you can start changing a lot of things in, in your gut kind of as a centralized, you know, starting point, right? You get your health, your gut healthy, and then you can start attacking all these other problems that your body has. That's and, right. Uh, you That's can, the great news is most people can reverse the problems that they have. It just takes so, work and effort. You know, yeah. it takes, it takes, like you said earlier, you know, action intent, you know, I, I always like to say words, thoughts, and actions, you know, make your words, uh, conscious, your, 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 your thoughts focused and your actions massively loving and intentional. Love right. It. And it's love like it. when you do it. that, yeah, when you do those three things, that's how you become a reality creator. And again, no matter where you find yourself, whether you're 400 pounds, morbidly obese, destitute, uh, or, you know, at the top of your game, you can always shift your reality with a thought. Yeah, you can still improve, right? Even if you're at your top of the game, there's still things you probably aren't doing right that you, oh, you, can, course. you can change, right? But most people are not in that condition. They're, they like the, the obesity in the, the U.S. is just ridiculously It's big. unbelievable. And so, man. you know, but they can, they, everybody can be fixed, right? That's in my opinion. I think a very large majority of them can, can make the changes they need to make and, and go down the right path. And they're going to make a great transformation. And they're, then they're going to say, great, I'm the change agent, you know, for, so everybody in my family is going to understand how to, how to do the same thing. Right. And then we can just keep multiplying this effect over and over and over. So just, just be that change agent for your family. Say, okay, I'm, I'm going to get out of this the matrix. I'm going to understand how to take care of my body. And then uh, once I make my transformation, then I can teach everybody else how to do it. And there's lots of people and lots of resources you can use to do it really inexpensively, right? So uh, that, that's a, a great way to get, get started. And that, that's why we created this company is trying to just get the awareness out that frequencies are real. Frequencies do help people. And uh, that uh, you can get off big pharma drugs and then then you can start transforming your life for the better. So awesome. Rob, I really appreciate you coming on here at the show today. So let me uh, just wrap this up. Uh, so you guys and gals that watch the Jay Campbell podcast, as always, support the amazing people that come on. Uh, go to Rob's company website. It's QEstrong.com. And remember, raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. We will see all of you guys very soon.